Welcome to the Channing Educational Series. Today we are going to talk about the CV, Progressive Feeder. A progressive feeder will distribute precise amounts of lubricant to a set number of outlets. You can get from 6 to 20 outlets on one device. Let us dive into how this nifty thing works. First, you must prime the feeder with lubricant. As it flows through each pipe and fills each piston hole, the lubricant pressure will push the piston A and move it to the left, making the lubricant change its flow direction. During the priming phase, no lubricant will eject from the outlets. After changing the flow direction, the lubricant moves toward the piston B and fills the inlet to the right. This will force the piston to move toward the left. The original lubricant of the left side piston B flows through piston A, and keeps moving to the first outlet. After the flow direction is changed, the lubricant moves toward the piston C, which forces the piston to move toward the left. The original lubricant of the left side piston C flows through piston B and keeps moving to the second outlet. After the flow direction is changed, the lubricant moves toward the piston D, which forces the piston to move toward the left. The original lubricant of the left side piston D flows through piston C and keeps moving to the third outlet. After the flow direction is changed, the lubricant moves toward the piston A, which forces the piston to move toward the right. The original lubricant of the right side piston A flows through piston D and keeps moving to the fourth outlet. After the flow direction is changed, the lubricant moves toward piston B, which forces the piston to move toward the right. The original lubricant of the right side piston B flows through piston A and keeps moving to the fifth outlet. After the flow direction is changed, the lubricant moves toward the piston C, which forces the piston to move toward the right. The original lubricant of the right side of piston C flows through piston B and keeps moving to the sixth outlet. After the flow direction is changed, the lubricant moves toward piston D, which forces the piston to move toward the right. The original lubricant of the right side of piston D flows through piston C and keeps moving to the seventh outlet. After the flow direction is changed, the lubricant moves toward piston A, which forces the piston to move toward the left. The original lubricant of the left side of piston A flows through piston D and keeps moving to the eighth outlet. The system returns to the first and repeats the cycle, perpetually each outlet will distribute lubricant to all your outlet points. Music